So this year we've had to adapt to the crazy circumstances out there and we're very excited to be running our first online edition of the Bowlsworth Elite Yearling Auction. Um, it'll be the sixth year that we've run um, and that coincides with re really exciting progress out there of the horses that came through our first few auctions. We saw a five-year-old um, Jackson 5 competing at Lanarkin last year um, and, a and a handful of horses performing really well in their age categories. So that's really encouraging to see because, you know, we were sat here five years ago saying that we'd, we'd follow through and we were, we were picking the best of um, the breeding and the bloodlines. And so it's very reassuring to see these horses coming through and doing what they hoped they'd do. So we feel like we're in a really good place to be taking this next step um, and going online and putting ourselves in front of the global market. So 2020 hasn't given us much option um, apart from to be putting our first auction online, but it's something we've been considering for the last year or so to run in tandem with our live auctions because we feel that it, it makes the auction accessible to that global market. There are also people out there that feel more comfortable um, behind the screen and in an anonymous nature bidding, bidding on the horses and so again we just feel it's the next step for the British breeding industry to be able to, to reach that wider audience and also I think that the trust has been building globally in these online platforms we're using one of the renowned um, platforms that lots of auctions that you will have seen at Zangazai to, to mention one of them use and it enables us to connect with that network um, and it's a very transparent platform um, which is something that we've always held very close to our hearts that we you know we're putting forward the very best of our breeders stock we've got nothing to hide um, and th these are all very genuine sales of, of top bloodlines from top black type mares and very commercial stallions so we're very excited to be testing this platform this year. So I'm personally feeling very excited about this year's collection. It's definitely the strongest we've had put forward yet for one of our yearling auctions. And there are lots of highlights in it. Um, we, had, we had a lot of yearlings put forward um, and every single one of the ones that we've selected has exceptionally strong bloodlines. But a few of the highlights for me, I think, are very much the fact that we've got a half-brother to Hello Sanctos himself. That needs no introduction. Um, we've got direct progeny from a lot of really highly successful performing Grand Prix mares. Um, standouts would be Tinker Serenade. We've had progeny from her before. Um, this year we have a yearling by Jitem Flamenco. Um, and for the first time we have direct progeny from Lochview Lulu. Now that's really, really nice for us because we've seen Dermot performing on Lulu here, but of course you will have all seen her performing and winning at five star level round the globe um, during her career. So, so that, that's, they're probably the three standouts for me from um, the headline names. Um, but we've also got some real depths of pedigrees in there. We've got a lot of lovely animals that are connected to multiple 160 performers and that's what we've been building towards and, and it's really great to see that those bloodlines and those um, the strength in those dam lines is really coming through in British breeding now. Um, and also welcoming back um, Paul Hendricks and his breeding programme he's putting forward yearlings again. He's supported us from the start and once again he's put forward a great collection for us this year. One of the aims of this auction was very much to support the British breeding industry um, and to provide a platform for those breeders and I think we're really seeing that in the last couple of years we've seen that people that the British breeders are really focusing on this auction as, as an outlet um, and it, it really gives an incentive for breeders that might not be in a position to produce these horses through to the end, end goal um, but are really seeing the worth of investing in their bloodlines and investing in great stallions and keeping those, those and finding better mares every year and that's really proven um, by this year's collection both for the yearlings and for the applications we're seeing for our foal auction later in the year.